Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the lesser knot, quintessential flocking sandpipers that are found from the far north to Southland. I hope you enjoy. Lesser knots are medium-sized wading birds, being a plain grey above and white below in a non-breeding plumage, coming in at lengths of 23 centimetres and weights of 105 grams. They feed in flocks on tidal flats across New Zealand, feeding mainly on small mollusks which are swallowed whole and crushed by their muscular gizzards. They also peck around for gastropods, arthropods, and even small amphipods where prey densities are high enough. There are six currently identified subspecies, with the most common subspecies, Calidris rogersi, breeding on the Chukutka Peninsula in Russia. In recent years, it has become evident that New Zealand also hosts birds of the subspecies Piersmai, which breeds further west on the New Siberian Islands, with Rogersai spending winters in New Zealand and eastern Australia. Lesser knots are territorial and seasonally monogamous, and it is as of yet unknown if pairs remain together from season to season. They nest on the ground, near water and usually inland, breeding in the moist tundra during June through August. Males arrive before females after migrating, and begin to defend their chosen territories immediately. They begin to display, which include circling high into the air, with quivering wing beats and then tumbling to the ground with the wings held upwards. While nondescript for much of the year, in February and March, they molt into a reddish-brown breeding plumage, hence their name used in most of the world, that being the red knot. Females lay a clutch of three to four eggs deposited over the course of six days, with both parents incubating the eggs and sharing the duties equally until they hatch after 22 days, with the females leaving parental care to the males once the eggs hatch. The young are precocial after hatching and are covered in downy cryptic feathers to hide from predators, and after fledging make their first migration on their own. Lesser knots have an extensive range, as an estimated 100,000 to 1 million square kilometres, and a large population of about 1.1 million individuals. The species as a whole is not believed to approach the thresholds for the population decline criterion of the IUCN Red List, declining more than 30% in 10 years or three generations, and is therefore evaluated as least concern. However, there have been many local declines that have been observed, such as the dredging of intertidal flats for edible cockles, leading to reductions in the wintering of the subspecies Islandica in the Dutch Wadden Sea, as the quality of their food stocks is critical for breeding and migration. Large numbers of birds that migrated to North America were shot either for sport or for food in the 19th century, and the East Asian Australasian flyway population has likely to have been overestimated and there may be fewer than 120,000 lesser knots wintering in Australia and New Zealand. The New Zealand population has declined from about 60,000 in the early 1990s to about 30,000 in the 2010s. Another big threat comes from tidal flats reclamation in the Western Yellow Sea, and while in New Zealand tidal flats are relatively secure, the human impacts on roosting sites may be detrimental, Hence, while the conservation status in New Zealand is nationally vulnerable as of 2013. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Snares Crested Penguin, one of eight similar looking species of crested penguins, and having the most restricted breeding distribution of their group. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.